What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how I salt my own minnows. But before I do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Anyways, let's get to the minnows. Okay, so here's what you're gonna need. Some kind of salt, optional seasoning. I like to use a little garlic powder, plastic bag, paper towels, and your minners. Preferably dead minners, because you don't want to do this to ones that are still alive. It would just be torturous to watch. So the first thing you're going to do, lay out a bunch of paper towel. So we're going to lay out just a bunch of paper towel. I'm going to grab our minnows. Oh, some of them are still alive. We're going to take the ones that are still alive and put them back in our bucket. So the next thing you're going to do is pat them dry really, really good. So you want to pat them dry and then let them air dry for about an hour or so. I'm just going to leave the paper towel on there and let that kind of soak up some moisture. Now for me, because I don't have any pickling salt, which is what they recommend you use, some people say that iodized salt doesn't work very well, but I used iodized salt last time and it worked really well, but I don't have any really fine stuff. So I have this coarse iodized sea salt and I'm just gonna grind it up using a mortar and pestle to make it really, really fine. And I find that that helps to absorb all the moisture and all the other stuff that's inside of the fish after you get ready to salt them. So I'm gonna do that while I wait for these guys to air dry. So I've got my salt all ground up nice and fine. And now for me, I like to use a bit of garlic powder And I just kind of generously sprinkle that in. You don't want to use too much though. And you just give that a shake around. Make sure that the garlic powder and the salt is really well mixed. All right, it's been about an hour. We're gonna pop these guys in the bag. So, just open your bag like so. And yeah, they're pretty well dried out. Any bit of moisture that's left on them afterwards is gonna get all soaked up by the salt in the bag anyways. So, a lot of different ways to do this. For me, I just throw them in there. In you go, into the bag. So they're all pretty dried up. I got the last of them. I'm gonna toss them right in there. I'm gonna just wipe my hands off all these dried up scales. Now, this part's really important. You want them to be nice and evenly coated. So I like to give them a good shake to make sure they're all coated in the salt. The salt is what is going to pull all the rest of the moisture out of the inside of the fish. All the guts and all that other stuff like that. Like that. And then you're going to take your bag. You're just going to get as much air out of the bag as you possibly can. Fold that guy over. Seal it up. And there you go. You're ready to pop this in the fridge for, probably you wanna do it for about 24 hours. And if you have a fridge other than the one that's in your kitchen, that's where you wanna put it because this will get pretty stinky after a while. 24 hours later, take your mail bag out of your fridge. Now this next part, is pretty important. You wanna make sure that you keep the water that your minnows came in because you're gonna to have to rinse off all that extra excess salt and whatever else that's in the bag. You don't wanna use water from your tap if you're on municipal water because it probably has chlorine in it. If you're not sure, 
then maybe you could just go grab some snow, let it melt, but make sure you're using water that is, does not contain any chlorine when you're doing the rinsing of your minnows. So you'll notice my bag is now quite goopy in here with my minnows. And that's good because that means that the salt has pulled all the moisture that was left in those little minnows out. So we're gonna take them out, rinse them in our water, and then pat them dry again. Ooh, yeah, you definitely don't wanna do this inside your house. Give it a little rinse in the water. Continue to add on with every minnow you've got. Just a little rinse. That was the last one. Next thing you need to do, grab your paper towel, Pat these guys dry again. Make sure that they are nice and dry. And once you've done that, get off here. We're just gonna let them air dry for another little bit, probably another hour or so. And then we're gonna come back. So an hour later, these guys should be nice and dry. I've got a bucket that I have one and a half of my old salted minnows in and just some of the loose, coarse sea salt. So I'm gonna put these guys in here, shake it up, get a little bit more of that salt on them, and then I'll pop this guy right in the freezer. And then they're done. bunch of minnows like that. Give them a good shake. That little bit of salt is going to soak up any leftover moisture while they're until they freeze. And uh, that's it, just like that. And there you have it. I've got a bucket full of two dozen salted minnows that I must say have worked very well for me for at least perch in the past. And we're done. And that's all you need to do to make salted minnows. It's very easy, it's very quick doesn't take a lot of stuff. You don't have to have any special things. Like I mentioned, a lot of people say to use pickling salt and if you have it, that's great, use it. But personally, I found that even just the iodized stuff works just fine. Thanks for watching. If you, this video helped you out, drop me a like below and uh, until the next one, see you later.